wanted to move out of Wisconsin. But my parents lived just eight blocks from us, and I didn't want to leave them. Today we're going to be doing a trash to treasure. It's a little bit controversial, but I love it. Keep watching! This picture was so dirty, you guys. It has stains all over it. It's bubbling from age and moisture. I just gave it a good wipe down with some water and pine saw. I went to their house and I sat at their kitchen table and I drew this. This is our house with a little sidewalk to my parents' house. I'm gonna use some Waverly white chalk paint. This stuff has awesome coverage. If it's a little thick, you can add some water to it, mix it in good, and it helps it go on a little bit smoother. My mom said, well, one thing I know for sure, when I start drawing things, it comes true. I got a little impatient, so I set up the fan, and then I did my measurements to find out how big my design could be. I gave the third coat to the front and then flipped it over to give a couple coats to the sides. I asked, where should we go? And my mom whispered, I want to go home. Now it's time to open up the stencil and lay out the pieces to find out where everything's going to go. phone call from Scott at Peter's Realty and he said I think I've got the perfect place for you and I said I'm on my way so I jumped in the car with my oldest son and we drove 600 miles to Sandusky and there's this little tiny house and it was on three and a half acres of land and I was like my mom and dad can build a house there for the letters I use Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. I take a makeup sponge and I just put the littlest amount of paint on it and I dab up and down. It's better to do several coats with a light paint coverage than to put the paint on really heavy and have a lot of bleeds. If you take your time and you're patient, you'll get nice crisp lines. and I moved here. I didn't bring any furniture with me. I didn't bring any home decor, so I've had to start over from scratch. I've been going to thrift stores and I've been trying to do this inexpensively. This is a really big sign, so I had to have a lot of patience and just take my time to make sure that I wasn't applying too much paint. It's really easy to get in a hurry and think that more paint is better, but it's not. I tape down one letter at a time and paint and then go to the next, aligning each letter as I go. The E was a little bit too big, so I had to cut off the end, but it still worked fine. Nobody's gonna know. There's a little tiny kitchen, a little tiny living room, and a little tiny bedroom. I had to start over with home decor and I wanna make as many things as I can. I'm on the last word. The sign is almost done. their house is being built. 
I like to use a small angled brush to fill in the bridges. I use just a little bit of paint and take my time. Chris measured and hung up a nail for me. So it was perfectly centered with the bed. The reason that I chose this frame is because it's really light. I didn't want something super heavy hanging above my head while I slept. What I drew has come true. It's exactly what I wanted. It's what I prayed for. Mm -hmm. 